Hello, everybody. This problem is about Henry. So Henry, even though he doesn't want us to know, has a mass of 95 kilograms. Mass of Henry. And he stands, and you know, he's also a little bit weird. So he's in an elevator, and in the elevator, there's a bathroom scale. And he's on, you know, the scale. And uh, we can see the reading over here. So for three seconds, um, I guess, First three seconds, it reads 830 newtons. For the next three seconds, it reads 930 newtons. Okay, so we can go from a pictorial representation to free body diagram, so always the first thing to do. We have a mass of Henry times acceleration due to gravity, pulling down. And up we have the force of the spring. Okay, and we know that weight is a measurement. So this force of the spring is this measurement over here, the 830 newtons and the 930 uh, newtons. So we have, you know, in, in the horizontal direction, we don't have anything. We don't have to worry about that. So the sum of forces in Y is negative. Uh, the weight plus the force of the spring, and that equals mass times acceleration in y. So we know the mass. This is just the acceleration due to gravity, 9.8 meters per second squared. So we can, we, we know this mass too, so we can get the acceleration in the y direction. So the acceleration is going to be minus mhg plus, plus as if uh, force of the spring divided by the total mass. And so, we can just calculate that. So it's going to be, I'm going to put it dividing over here. Minus 95 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared plus the 830 newtons divided by the 95 kilograms. Okay. So the units over here are meters per second squared. So we're going to divide kilogram by kilogram. Newtons is kilogram times meter per second squared. So we get rid of the kilograms. We get seconds, uh, meters per second squared which is the acceleration. So this is 95 negative times 9.8, negative 931 plus 830 newtons divided by the 95 kilograms. So negative 931 plus 830 
that's negative 101 newtons. And we divide that by the 95 kilograms. This is going to be negative 1.06 meters per second squared. Okay. So why is it negative? Well, because the force that the, the um, bathroom scale is exerting on Henry is smaller than his weight. So his weight is 95 times Uh, 9.5, 95 times 9.8, it's 931 newtons. So the weight is greater than the force, and so the person accelerates, Henry accelerates downward. Okay, so what we want to know, what we're being asked in this problem, is the final uh, velocity after these six seconds. Okay, so This problem has then two sections. In section one, the acceleration is actually, I guess I should put it up here. Section one, uh, the reading of the scale is 830 newtons. The acceleration is negative. One point six, and this is the time in seconds. Acceleration meters per second squared, and this is three seconds. So it's about a little bit more than one, maybe like over here. Looks like that. So uh, we know that the velocity, the acceleration is dv dt. We move the dt over here, so we get a dt equals dv. We integrate on both sides, and this becomes velocity plus initial velocity. And this is the area under the curve, this area. Okay, so remember that the velocity is the area under the curve of the acceleration uh, function. Okay, so for the second section, we don't have to redo this. The equations are the same. The only thing that changes is the value of uh, force spring. So in that second section, the reading is 930 newtons. So the equation is the same. The mass is the same. Gravity, acceleration due to gravity is the same. So the only thing that changes is this part. So instead of 830, now it is 930. Okay. So the acceleration in the second segment, let's call it acceleration of two, is going to be ninety-five, negative ninety-five times 9.8, it's negative 931 newtons plus 930 newtons divided by 95 kilograms. So this is negative one newton. Divided by the 95 kilograms, that's a negative 
0 0.01 meters per second squared. This is a tiny acceleration. And I think the, the spirit of the problem is that, you know, it is now the same uh, as his weight, the reading in the, on this, in the scale. So let's call this zero. Zero meters per second squared. So then the acceleration is going to jump from negative one or close to negative one, jump, and then it's going to be zero for the next three seconds. So we can then calculate the area under the curve over here. It's going to be negative 1.06 meters per second squared times three seconds. We get rid of these seconds over here. So that's equal to negative 3.19 meters per second. So well, we can call it 3.2. Uh, that is the velocity. negative, so it's going to be going down, right? That is the answer that we were looking for. So the important things to notice in this problem is that only one of the quantities change between the sections, the different sections of this problem. So you don't have to redo the problem. You just have, you know, if you have your equations, you just have to replace uh, the appropriate value. And yeah, that's it. So I hope you liked it. Thank you.